So glad you could join me today. Uh, it's time for a sneak peek. Uh, Stampin' Up! has announced a brand new a collection, a brand new suite that will be in the 2021-2022 annual catalog. Can you believe the new catalog is going to be here in May? Ah, but I love it that Stampin' Up! gives us a little sneak peek. You know, as I was preparing for today's live, I actually got butterflies. <laughs> I always get butterflies when I go live, but I'm going to tell you, there are butterflies all over my stamp room right now. I've got so much to share with you. Literally, my table, I've got a side table, I've got butterflies everywhere. <laughs> you guys, you are going to be so glad you came today because we're going to talk about the Butterfly Brilliance Sneak Peek, the collection. We're going to talk about some tips and tricks, things you may not know about this collection, things you're going to be able to do with it. We're going to learn some new techniques, and I'm going to teach you how to make three cards. So lots and lots packed in today's live video. So uh, I want to give a shout out to the uh, most wonderful Brenda Paulson, my moderator for today's live. She is going to be there answering your questions and she'll have some information for you if you need a measurement or anything like that. Now, when the live is over, if you'll give me a few minutes, I'm gonna update the blog post with all of today's information. So yeah, we'll have all that ready for you uh, just a little bit later on this afternoon. So if you are watching me live, welcome everybody. I'm so glad you're here. It's March 4th, 11 a.m. Central Time. But if you're watching me for, uh, from a replay, I welcome you too. When you're watching, be sure to leave me a comment. Hashtag replay lets me know when you're watching. So I'm so glad that you guys are here. Guys, this collection is fantastic. I am so excited to get started. I'm gonna move my camera over. So give me just a minute. And you guys know, I always like to say, if you get motion sick, look away, uh, because we're gonna go on a little flippy ride here. So, ooh, you almost got a shot of how messy my stamp room is. Yeah, my room can get a little on the messy side. Okay. Let's zoom in and let's see what we've got for you guys today. Oh my goodness, this collection. There's a lot. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to kind of walk through a couple things with you um, because some of these pieces and parts are not going to be in the next catalog. So these will be some pieces that you're gonna wanna get before they go away. Are you ready? Let's talk about what's going to be in the new catalog. So that is going to be the... Uh, butterfly dies and the butterfly brilliance stamp set okay um i cannot even begin <laughs> to tell you how incredible these dies are and here in today's video you're going to hear me talk and we're going to use these in some very unique ways one thing i want to point out with this stamp set is you look at it and you go oh it's six butterflies yeah it is but guys it's one giant stamp yeah that is just one big butterfly stamp. Now this works so well because you can use the die directly over it. So you can stamp it, die cut it, and boom, you've got six butterflies. How awesome is that? So, you know, you've heard me talk many times about cutting your stamps apart. With something like this, when it comes with the die, whoops, when it comes with the die that is all set, I'm not gonna chop this one up, I'm not. But I am gonna tell you, I'm seriously considering getting um, a second stamp set so that I can cut it up. I don't know, we'll see. The stamp set, I believe the stamp set was like $17 and I thought, you know, if I can get those six butterflies, it might be worth investing in. We'll see what I end up doing. So we've got, there's that solid uh, die that you just saw, there's some additional ones. And then we have these fantastic die cuts. I'm gonna show you those in just a little bit, all right? Because we're gonna be doing something amazing with those. Now, these two items that I'm about to show you, these will not be in the next catalog. We have got some gorgeous designer series paper, double-sided, okay? So I'm gonna show you, there's one, this beautiful rainbow, and I love this paper on the back. We've got just, uh, looks like um, Highland Heather and some Coastal Cabana and some Bermuda Bay. Love this one, beautiful, right? We've got a nice Bermuda Bay background, just a solid butterfly. 
and there's the back of that one, and then this uh, fabulous giant butterfly collection. Really incredible. Now, by the way, you get a lot more than this. You're going to get eight of each of these, okay? Eight of each pattern, okay? So don't let this little collection here fool you. It's 48 sheets total. If you love this set, I highly recommend you buy an extra pack of the designer series paper because you're not gonna see it again and you're gonna want that. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you one other reason why you want it. This sheet in particular, I loved this one. I'm about to blow your mind. Look what happens when I put that die on it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let me show you what it looks like when it's all die cut. When you take all that apart, look at what is left behind. Hello, <laughs> isn't that fabulous? So you could die cut these, have them all ready. I'm gonna show you um, some cards that I've done just that. So this piece in particular, like I said, you get eight of them. I'm saving these, although the other side is beautiful. I'm saving this one because I love how these butterflies look all die cut. Absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, we'll see a little bit more of these here in just a minute. The last item in the collection is called the uh, Naturals Specialty Paper. I, I wish I even knew how to describe this. First of all, it's a very thin paper, okay? So it's, it's not thick. It's got a nice sheen. It's actually got wood grain texture built into it. And I know you can't really see it there on camera, but yeah, all that is all built in. And uh, there's two sheets of that. And this is also just available while supplies last, as is that designer series paper. So wanted you guys to see what that looks like as well. All right, and I wouldn't really call this one double-sided, although you could, but the pretty side is really the wood grain. Okay. Let me set that off to the side here so we can see a little sneak peek. So I mentioned to you guys earlier that there is a tutorial that um, I worked with the Creative 8 team on. We got together and created a tutorial. And guys, this tutorial is awesome because, well, if the pages will turn, um, you're gonna get cards, all the instructions for 12 different cards, okay? They just keep going. So you're gonna have this fabulous 12 page tutorial. Um, you're gonna have the complete supply list and you guys can get this for free if you order the Butterfly Brilliance Collection. And everything we used in these tutorials is with that Butterfly Collection. Now, I did wanna make one point about the stamp set and that is there are no sentiments in this stamp set guys so you're going to want to have a sentiment set so what the creative eight team decided to do we are going to just use the happy thoughts stamp set one of our favorites because one of the creative eight team members created this one and um love these sentiments they all kind of work together so if you don't have this one um we are going to be using that with the tutorial but if you have a different sentiment set, I promise you these tutorials are gonna work fine with whatever sentiment you have, but I did wanna let you know this is the one that we're using. Now, let's give you another little sneak peek, and that is I wanna show you the cards and things that I created for the uh, tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna learn, and here's those die cut butterflies I talked about. I did a little collection of six cards and uh, hopefully you can see here, there's a little, I'm gonna open it up so you can see, a little fun embossing I did. Very simple, you can do that on your Stampin' trimmer, your paper trimmer, or on your Simply Scored board. It used very little designer series paper. I just used a strip, one inch by five and a half, and there are those gorgeous die cut butterflies. So I've got a wonderful little collection. And in the tutorial, you're gonna learn how to give these as a gift. So that's one of 
the tutorials. Here's another one, and the colors in this one just made me happy. So we've got our uh, Magenta Madness and Calypso Coral, and there's that Thinking of You from Happy Thoughts, and uh, some of that designer series paper. You guys know how I love to save paper, right? So my sentiment came from this back piece. My butterfly came from this back piece. Yep, we're saving cardstock, we love that. So that's another card. And then here's another one of the cards I created. It's a little fun fold, happy birthday. And then inside here, we, oops, I had to seal it together to take a photo earlier. And so it's kind of like a little triple, quadruple little card going on here. I loved this one, definitely love that paper. And there are my little floating butterflies. Just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. There we go. So just a little sneak peek of uh, what I've created in the tutorial, but guess what? There's more. So that's what we've got going on there. Okay, now let's do some tips and tricks because I promised you some cool stuff. So I've shown you this trick of how you can use one single die and get all those cut. We love that. Now I want to teach you um, a little trick with the, um, the, the detailed dies. And I'm sorry, I kind of got, they got a little covered up on me with, I told you I have a lot of stuff on my desk today. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. I mean, I need more desk space. So I don't know if we've told you, but we are moving in three months. And it's because I needed a bigger craft room because I just don't have enough space. All right, so here we go. This is where we had those detailed dies. And let me, you can see there is a detailed die for all of those. And here's how we did that. So I took a piece of Daffodil Delight, and of course, any color. It's five by six and a half, and you can see, I just ran that through uh, my die machine. Yeah, pretty easy. And then I ran all of the detailed dies through a piece of basic black. And of course, it looks like this. Now I'm gonna tell you, if I just wanted to add that to a card, it's gorgeous. And I could die cut that detailed one in any color I wanted. But what do you think of that? I mean, isn't that so pretty? So I die cut here, and then I did my details, and I added it right on top, and oh my goodness, so pretty. And this is really relaxing too. It was very fun to kind of put all these together. But I'm gonna take it up a notch. I thought this was really pretty, but how about with this one, I show you a little trick. So here is that same butterfly. There we go, right? I colored in the antennas in black because I didn't want them to be yellow in this situation. And then what I did is I'm gonna have a sponge dauber and some Calypso coral, okay? And I just sponge daubed a little bit of that ink all along the edges. And it really kind of made it look uh, more butterfly-like, honestly, because you get that little added color and you can see I just did that, and then I just kind of sponged in between. I wasn't even terribly neat about it. Okay, so just kind of all over the place there. And then I'm gonna take that detailed die, and I'm just gonna put a little multi-purpose glue. Now you're gonna see why I wanted that um, colored in in the black, because now look at the difference. Wowza, right? <laughs> and guys, all I did was just sponge a little bit of Calypso coral on there. And now I got a really unique butterfly. So I thought that was a fantastic uh, tip. Even though I think they look really nice this way, I just thought that was a great way that you can step it up a little bit. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna take it up another notch. I said, is that an Emeril Lagasse quote? I think it might be. All right, so I'm going to teach you a fun thing here. If I can unbury <laughs> my stuff. Okay, so I am going to show you some other butterflies that I die cut. And this is another trick and another tip I want to show you. So do you see all these great colors going on here? So I'm gonna show you, this is what it looks like when I die cut it. So this was a piece of whisper, or a basic white cardstock, and I did a simple little uh, blending brush technique. Then I came in with the stamp set, 
or the st stamp set. It's a stamp. Uh, I inked that up in black. I stamped on it and then I die cut to get this. These are gorgeous, right? And I could, even though I know I just adhered it down, I don't know if I can get it off of there or not, but I could have taken one of these. Let's see if I could, nope, I can't take it apart. We won't, but I could stick one of those black uh, detailed dies on here as well. And again, just give it even more texture. So are you guys ready to learn how to do this technique? I think you're gonna love this. All right, so I'm gonna bring in some um, basic white. This is, a, it's always the same, six, or five by six and a half. That's kind of what we need. I'm gonna teach you two techniques, okay? So the first one is gonna be this one here. And for this one, I used blending brushes. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with these, they're brand new in the January through June 2021 catalog. They clean up so well. When I'm done with these, I'm just gonna go rinse them underwater and I get to use them again. They come in a three pack, so with this technique, that works out pretty good. I'm gonna start with Seaside Spray and I am simply going to ink up my blending brush and just start rubbing on some color. What's nice with this is it doesn't really matter how much ink, um, if, if there's not a, ooh, I put too much on, it just doesn't work that way. So let's start, we're gonna, I'm gonna do half because I'm gonna teach you another technique on the other side, okay? All right, now I'm gonna come in with Highland Heather. So this is my next lightest color. And I've got another blending brush and I'm just gonna come in and sponge this color on, okay? See how easy that is? Now let's come in with one more, and that's Gorgeous Grape. Now Gorgeous Grape, this dark one, we wanna use a little bit more sparingly, okay? So we just don't wanna overpower what we've done. So can you see? Let's come in with a little more Highland Heather right there. And yeah, you can just kind of add that color. You wanna make sure you fill in all the white, okay? So yeah, just kind of bring in, I'm gonna bring in some more of that seaside spray. So that's kind of what we're going for. Yep, now I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna teach you another way that you can do this because I know a lot of you have sponge daubers and I think it's really pretty with sponge daubers too. So I'm gonna start with a Daffodil Delight and guys, I'm gonna do this the exact same way, okay? So we just add some color, okay? Very simple. That's my daffodil. Now I'm gonna come in with Mango Melody. And add some more color. It's just so easy to do. Now some Calypso Coral, which you just kind of saw me do. And we'll fill in, okay? And I know it doesn't look very pretty, right? Um, but I did want you to see the two different versions. Let me bring in one that I kind of already have done. And this one I did with the sponge daubers. And you can see I actually went bigger than what I just did on that one. So yeah, I just sponged all that on. And then I inked my big stamp in my Memento Black, okay? Pressed it on there. Um, I do wanna let you know, because we've got all these dark colors on here, make sure your black ink pad is well inked, okay? We really want that nice, deep black color. Um, you can also come in and use your Stamparatus with this, so that if you feel the need to go over it twice, you can do that. Um, and then what we're going to do, I'm now gonna bring in that big die, and yes, we're gonna actually die cut. So let me bring in my machine. And let's do some die cutting. All right. The Beast. We love her. Uh, you guys were so kind to give me all kinds of names. And uh, the Mini Me and, and the Mini Boss. And oh, it was just so fun. All right. So I'm going to line up that die. Isn't this great? Look at this. Boom. We're going to get six of these. I'm so excited. And I'll lay my plate on top, that looks good. I always have to give it a second look-see. We'll run that through. 
All right. Let's see what we got, my friends. There's that die. And look, oh my goodness, they're so pretty. <laughs> I love it. Look, look at those colors. Oh, do you see how that sponging and it, whether it's the sponge dauber or the blending brushes. Oh, so pretty. I love them. I hope you guys do too. How about we use these? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and create some cards because that's what you came here to see, right? Okay, you're actually gonna learn a little one sheet wonder project today. So I have, I'm gonna use the note cards and envelopes. I love these because I get the note cards and the envelopes. These can go through the mail, so I like that too. Uh, I have three envelopes and three of my note cards. And let me set those off to the side so we can bring in, here we go, some designer series paper. So like I said, this is kind of a little fun one sheet wonder for you. So you're gonna pick your favorite pattern of designer series paper. I will tell you, because there's so much going on here, I would probably recommend, like that just seems a little overpowering to me. So I would use one of the solid patterns, okay? The first cut you're going to make is at three and a quarter inches. So that'll be three and a quarter by six. Now we're gonna rotate that and you're gonna cut it down three and a quarter by four and three quarters. We're gonna save both of those pieces. So what we have left is a two and three quarters and we're gonna cut it to four and a quarter. And guys, I will have all these measurements for you at Simply Simple Stamping. I'll get those put up there um, when the live is over. So that's what we need to create our three cards. I mean, come on, that was pretty easy, right? Okay, now what we're gonna do with these and through the magic of television, I have gone ahead and adhered those to my card bases. Nothing fancy. Um, you can see here, I just put, um, you know, one here, one down there, okay? Again, nothing fancy. So those have been adhered to my note cards. Now, I told you that we were using um, the Happy Thoughts stamp set. And so I have stamped three sentiments. You're gonna pick whatever sentiment you want. I'm going to use my storybook um, label punch, or story, is it story label? I believe it's story label. I keep calling it storybook. Um, just on some scrap uh, white cardstock. Uh, any punch will do, any sentiment will do, okay? This is just what I'm using, get creative. So there is that. Now we're gonna put these cards together. So let's start, let's start with this one. Uh, this would be the three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And um, I'm going to start with, oh no, no, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Where did all those butterflies go? The, the pretty ones. Oh, this is them, they're right in front of me. Oh my goodness, you guys. Start to lose my mind after a while. <laughs> All right, we're going to take these butterflies and let's see, I've got this large one here. I hope that you guys are getting very inspired when you're seeing uh, some of these things pop up and seeing all these different ideas. So I just, I'm sitting here trying to make sure I'm grabbing the right butterflies. Uh, let's see, this one, we're gonna bring in some dimensionals. And you know what? I think I've only got, no, nope, here's some. I've got dimensionals all over the place. Let's add a couple of dimensionals to one butterfly. And you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and add my sentiment. And uh, on my sentiment, I've got a few, uh, about four Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of that. We're gonna say, thinking of you. And then we can add another butterfly right there. And uh, I'm gonna polish these off here in a minute. Oh, you know what, let's just polish, why not? Um, I'm gonna bring in a little um, Baker's Twine Bow and I'm gonna take a glue dot and I'm just gonna kind of roll that into a little ball. Because when it comes to Baker's Twine, you can't really keep that, um, that glue dot that big. I'm just gonna stick it right there on the edge and then I've got my little bow. 
I think everything needs a, it just everything needs a little something. I think everything needs bling. I think everything needs dimensionals. And I think everything needs a bow. <laughs> All right. Simple, simple little card, right? Okay. So let me set that one off to the side. Now let's do this one. And uh, let's see, I think we're going to do, um, I got to bring in my sample because I start to get myself very confused. Let's do, let's do a thank you. Again, I've got my four dimensionals there. I'm going to add my thank you. I'm going to grab, let's do this butterfly and I'll adhere this one down. Oh, come on, adhesive work with me today. I tend to get too heavy handed. Uh, I get a little crazy. So we'll add that one there. And then let's do this little one. But you know what, let's do dimensionals on the little one. Because I just think that looks so cute. And I'm gonna go right in the middle of this one. Because then I can add that and I can give those wings a little flight. And then we'll add another bow. So this one I would add here in the corner. And while I do this, let's see if I can read some comments. Let's see. Oh, love the butterfly suite. I love the blending brushes. Awesome. I'm so glad you like those. They really are. Um, they're so versatile. They're so soft and pretty. And like I said, you literally just rinse them underwater and keep reusing them. They're fantastic. All right. So there is another little thank you card. And look at this. We've got two more butterflies left. And for this one, we're going to say happy birthday. And I'm going to bring that a little bit over to the left side of that piece. And let's do, and we could do dimensionals or we could do adhesive, whichever. I think I'll do adhesive on this one. And how about I do dimensionals on this one? Guys, this is all about the creativity. All right, you do you. You have some fun with it. See what makes you happy. And I think you've got a lot of good color combinations available with this one too. Um, I, I especially wanna try it with the, uh, the purples. I just thought they were so pretty. Now let's add that butterfly there. And of course, one last bow. And guys, that's how fast and easy it is to create some really adorable butterfly cards. And when you order the suite, remember, you're gonna get a lot more tutorials. There we go, boom, boom, boom. Look at that, fantastic little cards. You could take this up and you could make these full-size cards very simply, okay? So feel free to go ahead and create full-size cards and just create with these designer series paper lay uh, layers. Easy, easy, right? Okay, so let me just bring in one more time and show you the tutorial. You guys, you can get this two different ways. You can either go to simplysimplestamping.com and order the Butterfly Brilliance Collection. And Brenda, if you will pop up that link, and also it's down there in the YouTube description um, of where you can order that. And be sure, be sure, be sure to use the host code C-J-Y-G-Y-H-U-2. And guys, you'll find that at Simply Simple Stamping if you didn't catch it. And be sure to use that um, special host code. That's what's gonna get you this tutorial for free. And I want you guys to have this free tutorial, okay? Lots of card ideas, 12 different cards, uh, full color measurements, instructions, everything you need. And um, yeah, be sure to do that. And okay, if you'll give me a second, I'm gonna flip my camera around. And this is always the fun part. There we go, oops, as I'm kicking stuff. <laughs> there we go, ha, ah, woo! You learned some tips, you learned some tricks. Maybe you have butterflies in your stomach now too because you're excited to get a hold of those tutorials and get to creating, I hope so. Hey, if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or perhaps you don't live in the United States and you can't order from Simply Simple Stamping, you can order just the tutorial collection, all right? You will find that over at simplysimplestamping.com. Just look in the blue menu bar for tutorials. And it is under the Creative 8, because like I said, it, this, this was all done with the help of my fabulous Creative 8 friends. So that is all for me today. 
Brenda Polson, thank you so much for being my moderator, keeping everybody up to date on what they needed. As I said, in here in just a few minutes, I'm going to go get um, today's blog post all updated for you. So you'll have the measurements for my cards today and some photos as well. So I will have that up for you shortly. Oh my goodness, we got a lot done today. Look at that. Woo! 30 minutes of stamping inspiration. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. Remember, if you're watching me on the replay, leave me a comment, hashtag replay. I look forward to going back and reading your comments later. So have a fantastic day, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. God bless. Bye-bye.